what's up pizza holics you wanted me back at scars i'm at scars good old scars on this lovely orchard street where graffiti graces every edifice and cranny uh i wanted to eat inside but there was music playing so there goes that it's absolutely gorgeous inside it's beautiful in there scar is a met fan you got a lot of Mets memorabilia and posters and paintings and art. The blue and orange on his sign is probably because he's a Met fan. He's always wearing Met clothes, so it wouldn't surprise me if that sign is blue and orange for that reason. Because Scar loves the Mets, as do I. What I also love, guys, is his pizza. Let's go eat, guys. We got the two styles of pizza here. The grandma, look at that, slivers of garlic, baby. Fresh basil, look how bright that basil is, guys. That is bright basil. I'm tempted to eat these first, but everybody wants to know how good is his standard stuff. You saw them drizzle that olive oil on the pies. It was nice to see them drizzle that olive oil on the pizza, look at that. Nice bright green oil, baby. So if there is some grease dripping off this thing, guys, you know what it is. It's bright, fresh, green, EVO, baby. We saw him drizzle it on. Let's listen for some crackling, folks. Oh, this crust is so light, look at that. Look at those air pockets, so light. Look at that bounce. Guys, this is way above average, guys. This is not your typical quintessential New York slice. Yeah, uh, it is ingredients wise, but it's made with extra love and care, baby. Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Mm. Hey guys, it's time for the grandma, baby. Looks okay on the bottom. Nothing black, nothing charred. A little pale on the edge. Not the worst, though, not the worst. A nice chunk of nice chunky tomato right there. Mm. I don't know if he's using the same dough uh, that he uses for his regular round pies. It does look a little different. Not sure. Uh, this one seems a little, a little spongier, not as light. Maybe he's using different dough. For the Sicilians, and that's the case with a lot of pizzas, a lot of pizzerias. Mmm. Oh my God, that basil. Mmm. Guys, look how bright that sauce is. Look at that. That garlic is sliced so thin and adds such a punch to each bite all right guys so into the car we go because i want to take a closer look at this pizza and i'm excited and i'm going to start yelling and screaming and i don't want to do that on the street so let's go and take a closer look baby i have a lot of respect for this pizza i'm going to tell you why first and foremost all that oregano that they throw on there guys i like my oregano on the pizza before it bakes i like it on the pizza before it bakes it just infuses into the cheese and 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 you know it, it's and the same thing goes for the grated stuff i complain a lot when they don't put that grated cheese on the pizza but here they do and i like it before baking i like it on the pizza before baking uh, you can sprinkle it on afterward but it it doesn't meld it doesn't fuse as one flavor full bite the foundation of every pizza is it's foundation, folks, no pun intended. 
Is that airy enough for you guys? Look at that, huh? Look at that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful crust, guys. Look at that char underneath. Are you kidding? Look at that leopard skin char. Absolutely perfectly cooked. Listen, guys, listen. Look at this crust, guys. This pizza's a little quirkier than Joe's. Joe's is like the perfect specimen. Joe's is the quintessential New York specimen. Every pie looks the same. It's as if that pizza's made on a conveyor belt. This has a little more artisanal touch to it. You know, you may get a pizza that's a little bubblier than others. You may get a slice that's a little bubblier than other slices. You know, one slice might have more char than the other slice next to it. You may see some air bubbles here and there. Some slices don't have any air bubbles at all. It's a little more artisanal. And his crust is made uh, with flour that he actually mills in his basement, folks. That's right. He has uh, he, he mills the berries in his basement. And every so often he runs out and he uh, sources his flour carefully from someone he trusts and flour that he trusts. And the result is a very light, light pizza crust. Highly digestible crust. I would assume this dough has higher protein content than what you usually get out here on these New York streets. You can see how light it is. Look at those blisters, guys. Look at that. You see that? There's blisters all over the place. Or as I now call them, goosebumps. I want to continue on with his cheese, guys. His cheese is a really good quality low moisture mozzarella. Uh, I don't know if it's anything extraordinary. Isn't too greasy. It seems like a middle-of-the-road low-moisture mozzarella. When the cheese chars up like that, that means there's some good fat content in the cheese. Uh, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't overly greasy. And like I said before, guys, if there is some grease on that box, it's because of that olive oil that you saw them dripping onto the slices. That is a nice touch. You don't get that every day, guys. You don't see that every day. And you don't see pizza like this every day. And before I score it, folks... Uh, the sauce was a little dry towards the back. I think it's because of the crust. Uh, it's kind of bubbly and fluffy, and uh, and all the sauce kind of pulls up towards the middle there. But uh, uh, as far as cheese to sauce ratio, guys, you can see the sauce beneath that cheese, which is very unusual. Sometimes with these New York slices, man, they're so cheesy. You don't even see any red anywhere. No sauce evident. Uh, that's not the case here, guys. You can see that sauce. It's there. And it's slightly sweet, slightly sweet, but I never got anything sour from this tomato sauce on this slice, guys. So what do you say we score it, baby? Guys, when the pizza gets cold, we give it another fold before we score it. Listen. It's not crackling as much as it was, but it's still very much uh, as stiff as a board and... The exterior is still very firm and uh, still slightly crispy. Uh, it's uh, I love pizza like this. Crust like this, man. Light, soft in the middle, airy, delicate chew, exterior crunch. Look at that. Look at that, guys. I'm going to have to give this one an 8-1. I just have to. It's an 8-1 pizza. It's a pizza that when you're in the city, uh, you, you have to visit. And if you're in Brooklyn or in the outer boroughs, take a ride over a bridge. Scar knows what he's doing, man. Scar worked at Joe's. He worked at Lombardi's, I believe. I know he worked at Joe's. So that guy has pizza blood running through his veins, guys. And so now, folks, what do you say we move back into that lab and take a look at that beautiful grandma slice? Take a look at this beauty, folks. Take a look at this beauty. I want to start with that basil. Guys, that basil hit me right in the chops. It was so fresh and pungent and almost so floral, almost citrusy. That's how fresh it was. Guys, look at this sauce. Grandma Slice, you got to talk about the sauce first. I would assume this sauce is different than the sauce he's using on his uh, round pies. It seems like it's a different color. Of course, I'm not reading off an ingredients list. I can't tell, but uh, it was definitely sweeter in my opinion. Very sweet, which... You know, I don't go crazy for sauce like this, but but it wasn't too sweet. And despite being sweet, at least it was tangy. It wasn't just sweet. 
it had some tang some nice fruity tomato tang to it that garlic like i said before guys it's such a nice touch look how thin they slice it it's as if they cut it with razor blades so many components of flavor guys the garlic the oregano the basil the sweet sauce the fresh mutts I don't know, maybe there's just not enough of it on there. As you can see, there's mostly patches of sauce. You're going to take some bites where you're going to get mostly just sauce and garlic and no cheese. So if anything, let's move this basil over. Uh, order this if you're a sauce guy because sometimes uh, slices can be undertopped with cheese, perhaps. Not, not sure if he's using the same dough that he uses on his round, but... Uh, it's not the Palace pizza. Uh, perhaps in spots it can use a little more cooking, some time in the oven. But it is, uh, for the most part, the cheese is nice and charred. It's nice and dark brown. So nothing too major there, guys. Nothing too serious. As for the grandma, nothing too extraordinary. I mean, his quintessential slices, his, his New York-style round pizza does stand out. Uh, this one just doesn't stand out as, a, as the grandma a slice that you have to get the flavor was good i love that sliced garlic basil obviously phenomenal but it doesn't stand out as something that is uh, its own character and uh in terms of grandma style pizzas uh that being said it was still very solid and so i'm gonna go with a seven seven for the grandma pizza still very good a solid score but it's not something that uh I would look for specifically when I go to Scars. When I go to Scars, I want his good old cheesy pizza. And uh, uh, his Sicilian, I think, is better than that grandma pizza. I had his Sicilian before, his regular Sicilian pizza, which is thicker than this. And uh, I recall it being, and I recall enjoying it a lot better. So, uh, guys, let me know what you think of Scars. How good is it? Is it ordinary? Or does it uh, stand out? as its own uh, apart from the rest and uh do you think it's the best be well guys hit that like thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this little tour this little culinary adventure uh hit that like i would appreciate it and subscribe and hit the bell so you can watch my videos as soon as they drop until next time this is antonio signing off